I don't know if you've ever seen this before, but it's an experience. Although it's meant to be a mystery, we kind of all know the drummer is Lewis Cole because he's got that classic open-handed stance and he's playing just classic Lewis Cole grooves. So in this video, I'm gonna break down how to play one of Lewis Cole's grooves from a clown call video. This is probably gonna be one of the hardest grooves that I'm going to explain on my channel. So let's get into it. Cool, so in this video, obviously Lewis Cole is playing drums and a synth bass at the same time. I'm going to explain how to play what he's playing exactly right at the end, so stay tuned for that. But for the sake of everyone who doesn't have a MIDI keyboard and everyone who just wants to jam this groove on the drums, I'm going to substitute a few things to make it a proper drum groove with hi-hats and everything. So starting us off, this groove is kind of tricky to kind of just give you the notation to play. So I'm gonna give you three things to practice first before we take the groove slow and speed it up. Let's just run through them quite quickly. I'm gonna call these the primer grooves. So primer groove one is gonna focus on the first half of what Lewis Cole is playing and that's gonna sound like this. Once you get primer one, we're gonna move on to primer two. The primer two groove is gonna focus on the second half of what Lewis Cole is playing. That's gonna sound like this. In primer groove three, we're now gonna mix primer groove one and two together to get a full bar of groove with those ghost notes all out through the groove and that is gonna sound like this and we're gonna repeat it. So now to get to the groove that Lewis Cole plays in that video is we're gonna take primer three and repeat it twice, but on the first beat of the second bar, we're gonna take away a kick drum. So we're gonna just get a hi-hat on its own. That's gonna sound like this, and this will be the full groove, like Lewis Cole plays it, adjusted to just be on the drum kit.
Cool, so Lewis Cole plays it at about 180 BPM, which is incredibly fast. It's like classic Lewis Cole drumming, fast and technical and 30 second notes and ah, blah. Anyway, if you get that, well done. Now we're gonna, just for fun, try to figure out exactly what he plays with the MIDI keyboard amongst the drum kit as well. So let's get into that. Lewis Cole is open-handed, so he is playing the groove with his right hand on the snare and he's playing with his left hand on the keyboard here. I'm not open-handed, I can't do this, so I'm gonna swap hands, move my right hand to the keyboard. But before we get to that, let's just do what the hands and the feet are doing to begin with. And that's gonna look like this. Now that you got that, all you're gonna do is put the keyboard next to you and put on like a synth bassy sound. It's really aggressive in the clown core video, so I'll try to find the most aggressive sound that I could find on Logic Pro. But all you're gonna do is match the bass drum with your right hand on two notes, and those two notes are gonna be D sharp and E. That is the video today. That is an interesting Lewis Cole thing. If you kind of work that out, how to play it on the drums, well done. If you get it on the keyboard, you are just incredible. And please tag me on Instagram or something so I can see that. And yeah, that is just one of the best grooves I've heard Lewis Cole play. And it also just clown core is just crazy. If you haven't seen clown core, go watch all their videos. It's messed up. It's interesting. It's yeah, just go watch it. But anyway, thanks guys. I'll see you in the next one.